Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of our Medieval 2 tutorial. Let's begin. My kingdom for a horse. Greetings, sire. Hi. I am Lady Gwendolyn. I will guide you on expanding and managing your empire. Your Normans achieved a mighty victory at Hastings. Now you must lead William the Conqueror to claim the English throne. Follow my instructions and we will lead the Normans to glory. To continue, left click on my portrait. Portrait. You are now viewing England on the campaign map. Here you will build cities, raise armies and move them to attack your enemies. Parts of the map you have not yet explored are shrouded in darkness. As you move your armies further afield, more of the map will be revealed to you. Sounds great. You can move your view of the campaign map with the keypad and zoom in and out by using the mouse wheel. Try this now. <coughs> yeah. You will notice that you cannot move past England. You are restricted to England Aww. for now, but once your Norman forces have taken control, you will be ready to wage total war on the rest of Europe and beyond. Hey, is it? The campaign progresses in turns. Each turn, there is a limit to the distance your characters can move and the troops you can recruit. Yes. Your agents can only carry out one mission per turn, and mm -hmm. each of your buildings takes a certain number of turns to construct. Yeah. Rufus is one of your generals and Ooh son of William the Conqueror. Go, Rufus! If William's campaign to seize the English throne is successful, Rufus will one day be the King of England. Whoa. Left click on Rufus now to select him. The highlighted area around your army shows where they can move this turn. You can move your army by right clicking anywhere in this area. Right click on the highlighted position oh, to move Rufus there. I remember. Hail my king. Last time I did this tutorial. I discovered, along with a lot of other people, that this is glitched. With honor, sire. The panel at the bottom of the screen gives you information about your armies and settlements. The panel on the right has buttons for construction, recruitment, ending your turn, and viewing information on your faction and progress. The character cards in the bottom panel of the screen show the units that make up your army. The card on the left belongs to your general. The other cards belong to the units in your army. You can right-click on any card to find out more information about that unit. Right-click on Rufus's character card now for detailed information about him. This scroll shows you the details of your general. You can view the details of any character in the same way. A character's attributes impact on how well they will do their job. Close the scroll when you're ready by left-clicking the close button <laughs> on the bottom right. A walking bastion of blasphemy. <laughs> That's great. A rebel army has appeared near Khan. No! Khan is undefended and you will need to reinforce it quickly or you will lose it. William the Conqueror's next goal is to take over England. Before you do this, you will need to move Rufus back to Normandy to fortify Khan. Let's do it. Select Rufus and right-click on the nearby fleet to board it. Uh, this is where it's kind of glitched. Not so much glitched. But uh, you gotta take, take Rufus. And we don't have any more room to move. So you can right-click on this bad boy... Much all day long I'm afraid not, my and he's just gonna tell you right where you can shove it you have to end the turn wherever it is right here end turn wait a minute it's not it's not working what the heck Ships ready. oh it's not working come on I've done this before you gotta end the freaking turn <sighs> Hail my king. Fleet ready, sire. This is annoying. Yes, sir. Full sail. Hail my king. Ships I've done ready. this once already. 
Take Rufus, get in the boat, but you can't because he's out of movement space. So you have to end the freaking turn! Wow, this is annoying. Can't freaking click on anything, really. The heck? No, stop it. Stop. Little 20 cogs, huh? Once upon a time, you were supposed to be able to do this, but you had to end the turn. Now it won't let me. Because it's a jerk. Stop. Freaking go away. <laughs> Piss me off. Hail my king. Yeah, whatever. Nobody likes you. Um I guess I'll do more research. Freaking you used to be able to just end the turn and you had to do it the next turn. So, um, I'm going to stop recording right now, look around online, see how to do it, what solutions people came up with, and I'll be right back. Okay, I read it and instantly remembered. You have to move the ship until it's out of room. Un until it doesn't have, not out of room, but freaking move, shall we? Let's go. Ugh. Why doesn't anything work in this freaking game? Holy crap. Go somewhere. Jethko doesn't care. Just go. Hail my chips ready. Jeez. All right, you gotta move him until he can't move anymore. And then you'll be able to end the turn. All right, now we can end the turn. Shit! It is a new turn and season in your campaign. Your treasury has been updated, your armies and characters have rested, and your rivals have made their moves. It is now your turn to make your next moves to carry out your strategy. Now we get in the freaking ship. Has a character card shown on the bottom panel of the screen. If you click the army tab on this panel, you will see the units that are present aboard your fleet. Heck yeah. There they the are. boxes that slide down the left. You can move your fleet by right-clicking anywhere in the highlighted zone. Right-clicking on the coast will disembark your army. Right-click on Normandy's coast now to disembark. Let's go here. Taking the troops ashore, sire. Such a good idea. Now that your army has disembarked, select Rufus and right-click on Khan to move him into the settlement. Hail my king. Yes, my liege. Your next goal is to lead William the Conqueror to take England's capital, London. Select William and right-click on London to attack. Let's do it. To battle it is then, sire. To assault the walls. Yes, Before let's. you can siege a settlement, you must build siege equipment. Left click on the ram to add it to the queue. Then click the maintain siege button to begin construction. The siege goes as planned, sir. See, that's something that's different. Your it's kind of interesting. Your siege equipment takes time to build. End your turn, and you will be able to attack the settlement next turn. To end your turn, press the hourglass button. On the yeah, we figured that part out already there, Dorcas. End of turn report. I take it we're the Normans. Yeah, we are. It's all coming back. Your New family member. Heck yeah. Repeated, and you can attack the settlement. Select William and right click on London. Left click the assault button to besiege the settlement. Alright, so we gotta pay attention there. You don't wanna build siege equipment and then hit assault. Because it won't work, because you don't have any siege equipment. You have to be patient. Maintain the siege, and then when it's done, it says time to build queued items. So uh, here we add more ladders, let's say. 
it'll take one turn to complete these ladders. Or if we add ladder, this, that, a bunch of other stuff, well, okay, we could do all that freaking stuff in one turn, that's great. But you don't, if you're hoping to have siege equipment, you don't want to just queue this up, expect to have the ladders, and then hit assault. You won't have it, you gotta wait. It's all coming back to me now. Going in. This scroll allows you to review the balance of power before you enter a battle. Winning a battle isn't just about troop numbers. The types of units and the general's command ability are essential. Click the fight battle button to enter the battle, or automatically resolve to automatically determine the outcome. If you automatically resolve this battle, you will miss the siege tutorial. Well, we wouldn't want that. I shall lead our forces into battle, my lord. Going in. When attacking an enemy, you have the option to assess the weather conditions. You could decide to attack immediately, or wait to see if the weather will change. Enter the battle now by clicking the Start Deployment button. Okay. To conquer England, William must first conquer the English capital, London. To be victorious in a siege battle, you must capture and hold the city's plaza, or destroy the enemy army. You got it. Before you start the battle, you can position your troops for a more effective attack. First, deploy your ram in line with the enemy gate to expedite their attack. Select your ram and right-click on the highlighted position to deploy it. There you go. You can now deploy your remaining units in the same way. When you are ready to continue, Click the Start Battle button. Let's just take the... What the heck? You stay... Freaking you stay there. Gotcha. The Archer Militia are manning. The Ram. Now we're gonna need some of these bad boys right here. Actually, let's uh, we'll take you, you three, put you right there. We'll take these three, and not put them like that, but more like this. And we're going to group these bad boys together. Oh yeah, there's more. Two. Oh, come on. There we go. Three and three. Sounds good. What the? No! Friggin' go away. Unit march. Let's come out here to the flanks. There you go. Unit march. Men. And there's the general. general. March. Men. Men. Oh my gosh. That'll be fine right there. Looking good. Now select your ram by selecting it on the battlefield or clicking on the unit card with the ram icon. When your ram is selected, move your mouse cursor over the enemy gate. When your cursor changes to a wall breaking icon, right click on the gate to attack. And let's get our archers and move forward. 
Actually, let's just uh, get these, this group of three, tell them to attack them. The other two can attack these bad boys. Faster would be better there, hotshots. I do like the guys that get hit with fire arrows just burst into flames, and that's my cell phone. Alright. They just burst into flames, it's great. Yeah? Why are you still walking? Heavy infantry, heavy infantry. Spearmen. Light infantry, spearmen. Do it! You know you want to. I'll never breach the gate with a battering ram. So use it. There you go. 7%, 14%. Alright, let's go. You guys attack these bad boys. You can have these ones. You can go. You can have these ones. And you get these bad boys. And let's. Oh, okay. Well, the gates have fallen. Yay! It's great news. Well done. Okay. You have reached the enemy gates. To win the siege, you will need to take and hold the central plaza for three minutes. The plaza is the large stone square in the center of the city. When there are no enemy units in the plaza, your troops will have control, and the victory timer will commence. We await your command. We await your command. Your command. Well, crap. To reach the enemy plaza, you must first fight through the enemy's troops on the streets. Once you have reached the plaza, kill all the enemy units, and the victory timer will commence. Hold the plaza until the timer runs out to gain victory. Units, move out! General, onward! Everybody's running. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Units, double time! Units, oh no, they're not running. Double time. Gillette. Units, move out! Alright, move in. Please move in. Why can't I freaking see anything? Holy crap. Is it because I haven't entered the city yet or what? Jeez. There we go. Good gracious. What is this? Stay back, you crazies. Heavy infantry. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Your spearmen. Let's go, dude.
Vultures! Attack! Attack! Vultures! going over here. Get on that wall. Let's go. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Seriously, the general was in there with just having a good time? Some of my archers are out of ammo. The Lord is with us today. We've captured the enemy's walls. Ain't that great. Man. Get just a couple of these guys. Get them. Yeah, you too. Let's go. I'm not grouping them up anymore. It's makes it for easy access, but uh, no. All right, cavalry, let's do it. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Going out here. Freaking crazoids. So we'll just get everybody. Spearman. Get him. We await your command. Get him faster. Charge. They are winded. Fallen Prince Godwine. This needs to go away. You've been in the way for far too long. Come on, Duke. Dukey. Get in there. Bloody your sword, son. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I believe you. London Bridge is falling down. Hmm. 
no idea how that came into my head. I guess because I'm sacking London. What is this? Building lost? What? You lost me my building? Heavy infantry, huh? Turn around. Get those heavy infantry guys. Building captured. Come on, turn around, let's go. You're right there. Turn. There you go. By St. George, our men have taken control of the city. Yippee. They're running away because they're a bunch of pansies. Oh, wait, it's the same guys. Interesting. Where are you at? Oh, you're already here. Good old Duke William having a good time. Behold how our cowardly Ooh, foe yeah. runs. All of Christendom will be awed they had by two the men victory remaining. we have won here today. And that's how you do that. Games are fun when you win. Such is the fate of all who oppose us. When you capture a settlement, you have the option to occupy, sack, or exterminate. Whoa. Occupying a settlement brings it under your rule peacefully, but the people might rebel against you. Sacking allows your troops to loot and pillage, which gives an order and cash bonus, but buildings are damaged and people are killed. Exterminating kills most of the population and reduces the level of the buildings, but brings the population under your control. Interesting. Take the spoils of war! Let's see, a population massacred, 849, Florence gained, 2995, Florence gained, 384, population to be massacred, a whole lot more, and not as many Florins. Just sack well it. Well done, my lord. England's great capital is now under Norman control. Double left click on London to bring up the settlement scroll. I hit my microphone, sorry. Double click. From this scroll, you can construct buildings, recruit troops, and manage your settlement. I see that. You have received a mission from the Pope. Hey there, Popey. He has requested that you build a church in this settlement to okay. increase the religion of your people. Let's do that. Close the mission message when you're ready. To carry out your mission, order a church to be constructed by left clicking on the picture of the church. Your church has been added to the construction queue. So it, it has. One turn to build. So it will be completed next turn. Where does it tell London you how long it'll city, take? Which means it is a hub for trade Construction and time will generate long term. your income. It is important to keep the people in your cities happy. Left click on the show settlement details button at the bottom of the scroll to see important information about your city and people. This scroll shows you a breakdown of important factors <laughs> affecting your settlement. You can't see this Move scroll because I'm talking. Move the mouse icon to find out more information. In cities, your main aims are to maximize income and growth, while keeping public order and religion as high as possible. Close the settlement detail scroll when you're ready. Okay. Maximize income and growth while keeping public order and religion as high as possible. Now is a good time to recruit some reinforcements. Click on the available units to add them to your recruitment queue. The units in the queue highlighted in green will be ready next turn. You can retrain units that have suffered losses in the same way. Click oh, on the retrain tab and like add your that. units to the recruitment queue. Your units will be retrained to full complement. Wonderful. Now what? Now open a calm 
settlement strip to recruit some reinforcements there. Trade increases plus one dread for Duke William the Conqueror. And this is London. We need to recruit units in con. We've got mailed knights. And we've got sergeant spearmen. I'm a fan of knights. We'll go one, two knights. Or all of them. <laughs> Retrain, sure. We like retraining. Whoa. Your units will take time to train. Press the end turn button and your new troops will be ready next turn. Splitting forces, sire. This is taking a long time. You have successfully completed your mission from the Pope. He now regards you more highly for complying with his wishes. Ain't that great. The reinforcements that you trained in London are ready. Now is a good time to prepare an army to march on Nottingham. Click on London and select the units you wish to move out by holding down the control key and left-clicking the units. You will need a decent-sized army to take Nottingham, but we'll also want to leave a couple of units behind to garrison London. Got a recruitment report. We've got construction complete, faction When you have selected the units you wish to move out... Shut up. Lord Rufus, loyalty went up. Duke William the Conqueror is chivalrous. Lord Rufus is a stable master. Plus one command when commanding cavalry and... A new family member, Catherine. Mission success! Yay! We are the most advanced faction. And we're the largest faction. We huge! And we're number one in everything except for population. We're number two. All right, let's put a pause in the recording right here just because this is taking a lot longer than I thought. Thank you guys for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.